Hello again, now we're going to use some quadratics to help us solve a number problem. So we need to find two numbers where their difference is 4 and their product is 32. So I'm going to call the numbers A and B. So first of all they have a difference of 4, so I know that A minus B equals 4, and they have a product of 32, so I can start off with that. Now, you might think, system of equations, I can solve this, so stop the video and you can have a go yourself. And then come back if you get a little bit stuck and I'll show you the first step. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange a minus b equals 4. I'm going to make a the subject, so I get 4 plus b. Now I'm going to substitute into a, b equals 32. And for a, I'm going to replace a with 4 plus b. So where the a is, now I've got 4 plus b. And then it's just asking to be times out, so I'm going to get b squared plus 4b as 32. To solve a quadratic, you have to set it to what special number? Correct, 0. Oh, and now I've got to the point which you should all recognise. When we're doing quadratics, we're actually finding the roots of the equation where it cuts the x-axis. Now you've got a choice, you could try and factor, or you could use the quadratic formula. But I always said you look for factoring first, which is the choice you should make here. So factor that without me, stop the video, factor it, and see if you can get a result for b. So what you should have done, b squared, so it's going to be a b and a b, plus and plus, so I know it's going to be a plus and a plus. Then I look at the factors of 32, and I need to put the right numbers in place. Oh, I've made a mistake. It should be minus 32 there, because we substituted there. Whoops, but I will carry on. Okay, that should be minus 32. We've got to be very careful. So then that, of course, makes one of them a plus and one of them a minus. Okay, and then you've got to look at the factors of 4 and 8. And when these numbers are multiplying each other, we're looking for the difference to be a positive 4. So whichever one goes here has to be a higher number, and that's the smaller number. So I'll let you figure that out. What you should have decided is this is 4 and this is 8. And you times that out again just to check that you're okay. So dum 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 dum. Yeah, I get what I've got on the line above. So I'm happy to keep going. So b plus a equals zero. That means b equals minus a. But also b minus four equals zero. So b can also equal four. So that means we have got more than one set of solutions, and we need to find their a partners. So let's go across to the other side. Just give ourselves a little bit more space. Um, so now. We can go back and we know that a minus b equals 4. And when b over here is minus 8, so it's a minus minus 8 equals 4. So a plus 8 equals 4. So a equals 4 minus 8. So a equals minus 4. Okay. We also know that the product should be equal to 32. So let's just check that out with our numbers. A is uh, minus 4, uh, that's minus 8, that is also 32, so I know that is one of the solutions. But of course B is not just minus 8, we also said that B could be 4. So let's see what happens when B is 4. So here we've got B is 4, again A minus B equals 4, so A minus 4 equals 4, add 4 to both sides, a is going to be 8. So let's check. Have they got a difference of 4 yet? Yeah. What happens when I times them together? Well, I've got 8 and 4, which also gives me 32. So I'm happy. So then our final solutions are A equals minus 4, B equals minus 8, and we've also got A equals 8, and B will equal lost it for. So we have two sets of solutions. And there you go, a little bit of fun algebra. Make sure you've got all that into your notebook and then you're going to try some on your own. Let me pull the screen back a bit. It gives you the full picture. There you go.